All right, we got a Battletech game going on here. It's the continuation of the campaign to, of clearing out the city. All right, so here's that spaceport we were talking about. Outskirts of it, this is the local control area with the flak batteries sitting right here. We got four flak batteries, radar systems uh, being defended by the infantry company and infantry or tank. So you got a combined arms unit in here. These guys were supposed to be with those mechs that you faced earlier, but the commander of the mechs was so impatient he charged into battle without any support. Sucks for him. Yeah. So that's what happened. It's like when I made the mission, it was like, okay, is he impulsive or not? And he was impulsive. So he lost his dire. He failed his saving throw. Okay. Uh, we have the forces over here that were had advanced off the table, so they have one movement into the game table already. And then over here we have the remaining forces who still have some battle damage. If any mechs that did that had any internal structure damage on them were told to fall back, they're no longer in the battle. But you do have damage on your mechs that you took, so. Pay attention to that. <laughs> so it could be a bad day. All right. So over here, it looks like all these tanks. And who knows? They may even have some uh, reinforcements coming. Yeah, don't know until it happens. All right. Any questions? Mm -hmm. All right. Ready to roll? Yep. For the most part. All right. Seven of hearts, you're up. Seven. And we'll be back. Turn one is complete. Over here, some of the tanks rolled out over here. Some rolled over here. Laid down some LRM fire down at that panther way down here. They shot at the uh, awesome. Did three points of damage to it with an LRM-5. Over here, this poor Orion, all of a sudden the infantry and the tanks come rolling around the corner. So four tanks and four infantry platoons opened up on the Orion and did pretty close to, what, 60 damage? Yeah, they hosed you pretty hard. Ouch. Oh, my arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your arms uh, took uh, a brunt of that. Yeah. And over here, the... The Marauder shot that one infantry stand, killed a couple guys over here. Now, the big thing was that uh, that is not a standard rifleman right there. You got rid of the auto cannons and replaced it with, just kept the two large lasers and up armored and it. War crime implements. And you do have flamers on board, which unleashed onto that poor building, and there's only nine infantry left. It's like burn them out, burn. You got a bunch of infantry in that building doing the burn to dance. Mm -hmm. So there, they got hosed pretty hard. So that is it for the turn. I don't know. Well, and that everybody over there. Oh, yeah. It's them. like these guys over here unleashed onto tank number three right there and did a bunch of damage. Lit them up. Four PPCs. And... Yeah, four PPCs and. Uh, mm -hmm. but I five with the vindicator hit i think he did and your left is like no motive hits or anything now over here tank number six he got hosed pretty hard he's still operational all he has is an ac20 he's lost his lrm5 and he lost a uh, small laser those got destroyed in the process and he's now slower so yeah he got hammered hard all those guys in the back here with the LRMs unleashed over here and drop barraged him with uh, LRM fire indirectly. And it was pretty accurate. Those guys are pretty, well, when you got two, a couple, two pilots there, that's gunners. That, yeah, it makes a difference. Okay. Anything else? I think that's it. Those have been shoveled? Yep. All right. First card up is a seven of hearts. That would be you. And we're moving on to turn two. Let's turn the big, big die to two. There, turn two. We'll be back.
turn to the infamous mercenary commander said, let's bring our flanking force over here on this road along this right here, which in turn kicked the uh, trigger point for the reinforcements to show up, which was a pair of hunter tanks here with some Shrek PPCs and a couple hunters over here with some demolisher tanks. All right. Now, uh, actually, the forces need... There's two dead tanks here. Uh, the one tank that was almost dead to begin with, he missed by one putting an AC-20 into somebody and then died horribly. And then uh, three, four mechs opened up on that second tank that's right there next to that building behind the other burning pyre. And between all the fire, uh, they took it out. And then, uh, let's see, over here, the, the two, three hunchbacks opened up on the two tanks here. Tank eight, that's right there in the front. Oh, you didn't kick. There's not base to base. Oh, I thought there were. It looked no. like they were base to base. Yeah, it looks like it, but the uh, corner just goes right into the front. I thought so you there's... moved up to the... All right. All right. No problem. So I, I can kick you if you want me to. No, I don't want... Well, I'm a mobile target anyway. You mobilized him, so he can't move. He's got a turret lock and he's immobilized. What's he going to do? Uh... Just put him in his misery. So then the other sway back opened up on tank one, and then he's now a one two tank. So you took a bunch of tracks off. From this. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else over here. These guys were like, uh, we don't have nothing to shoot at. And you got the Panther and that catapult way back there that jumped on the building, and they're like needing 12s to hit anything. It's I, like, I rolled an 11 for the Panther, he almost hit. It's time for them to get on the ground and actually run. You have a better chance of hitting. Okay, what else? Uh, well, your one Vindicator, who's the two pilot there, he shot over here, hit that hit. tank. You know. And let's see, the Wolverine killed some infantry, even though the rifleman would have been better off with his flamers to go into the infantry. He didn't shoot those, so... All right, and oh, the tanks and the infantry, they all did a little bit of clinky damage everywhere. And, well, the, the interesting thing is, is that the uh, the towers right here opened up on this needing 12s and 11s to hit that uh, Jenner and hit him three times with the autocannons, so... Like the guy that was the hardest to hit was the one we hit the hardest. Let's see what else we got out here. Oh, then these guys right here put some damage into tank two. Not much. He's still motoring along. And that's it. Anybody miss anything? Other than we got some long range LRM shots down at that Phoenix Hawk. That was it. All right, that's it. That's the end of the turn. All right, we'll be back with turn three on the big guy. Turn three. Over here, the tanks come rolling up. Uh, the pilot of the spider decided that he wasn't going to move because he was hot. And the end result was he took a bunch of damage and he lost his whole left side. Yeah, I think it was the left side got shot out from PPCs and auto cannons. Yeah. Took some AC 10s, AC 5s, some PPCs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Never stop in front of Shrek PPC carriers. Something's going to connect. And over here, uh, tank number two right there is immobilized. It's a pillbox with its turret locked. Over here, tank four is immobilized with its turret locked and sensors. So he's like biggest beating down. Okay, this building is on fire with the infantry dead. When they shot it with the flamers, it caught on fire. 
a couple PPCs went into that building, caught it on fire. So that building is now burning with infantry, so they're going to get out of there. Uh, two SRM carriers decided to, they didn't like that building that was standing right there, and obliterated it with 20 SRM 6s at point blank range and dropped the building with the infantry in it. Mm -hmm. Over here, a couple swaybacks, uh, just and a uh, Marauder. No, it was a peep. Yeah, it was a Marauder. Decided to, well, Warhammer. Yeah, the Warhammer and, shot. And then take out this turret raider. It is no, the Marauder, Mar uh, Warhammer shot the tank. The awesome and the two hunchbacks shot the tower. Yeah, oh, that's right. Then kicked the uh, tank to death. Yeah, that's right. 20 points of kicking. Mm -hmm. And over here, this tank over here with its AC-20, fate with its turret locked, immobilized, and this, well, that panther decided to step out and go, hey, I'm going to shoot you. And then it turned around and connected at extreme long range with an AC-20 and blew its right arm off. So its PPC is now flying off someplace. And over here, these two swaybacks were like, hey, wait a minute. Those are demolishers coming up on us. We don't like that. It's like they're getting out of there. Probably. Okay. So you have a spider that's hurt. You've got a panther that's hurt. And then a Orion that's sitting back there with a bunch of hurt going on. And did I miss anything? No? All right. Card's been shuffled? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go with the first one. Joker. Okay, that's the turrets. All right. Uh, Jack of Hearts is up. Let's go. Turn four is now complete. <laughs> All right, over here. The... Uh, Hunchbacks come flying into the corner over here, laid waste to uh, one of the demolishers and the hunter right there. But the one demolisher right here, he unleashed into that one hunchback right there and double tapped with what, two boxcars? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, those are two hits. And the other one took an AC. It's like the green one took two of them. And then the other one, it's like they both lost a right side. No, uh, he lost his right torso. He lost the armor on his right torso and has some internals on his left. Okay. And then this way back, still going good. He just mowed down. So these so guys. The over... one that had the least amount of armor is, has the most now. All right. You shot the wrong one. Okay. And then the. Uh... The two uh, SRM carriers dropped two buildings each with the infantry inside them and obliterated the infantry. And then this uh, Warhammer. Um, it also shot the demolisher too. Yeah, so between the those two and the Swayback, they just obliterated that one demolisher. Over here, they put some rounds into that building, which, eh, okay. And then over here... Uh, this Shrek that's under that smoking pile there, he's got obliterated. He took a couple PPCs and some shots from the Orion and the, um, tank, I think it was, yeah. And just took that one Shrek out. And then, uh, the, over there, the... Uh, rifleman put some rounds into the tower. Now this right here, the Shreks opened up and obliterated the one tank. Took five PPCs to the face and along with an AC-20. So it took 70 damage to the front slope and it was gone. Sayonara. And then this tank over here, he unleashed under the infantry, burned the building down and with his flamer and small laser and auto cannon and just well, that's burning building now burning man and then the uh that was pretty much it wasn't it i think so yeah and then that 
art that catapult he put some rat, uh, LRMs into that building where that infantry is standing right there that building is a little shaky but it's still standing so that's the end of the turn turn four so we're moving on to turn five and we pulled all the cards out and we shook it up so eight of hearts is up so we'll be right back turn five all right the uh over here the sway back came up into the hunter there and just obliterated it it motive front armor slope right off over here this uh srm carrier opened up on that uh demolisher and uh, obliterated its motive to just engine killed it basically mm -hmm. and then this uh warhammer. warhammer finished it off uh this uh srm carrier took out the radar dish that was right there because it was barely in range and obliterated it and let's see what else we have here put a little few shots into that building there uh, this tank is still standing. Oh, you forgot to kick. Yeah, you got to do your kick. What's your uh, pilot? Pilot is a three. Three, four, five, three. Hit. All right, what'd yep. you get? Roll again. Four. Oh, you killed that tank. Maybe dead. He had no armor left on the back, and that was enough to cave in its back internal structure. So that tank is gone. And, okay, so these guys opened up onto the Shrek right there. The Banshee obliterated the Shrek. It was an AC-20 and four medium lasers. Just took the whole front slope off. And then the uh, Hatchet Man and the Trebuchet and the... Uh, Marauder took out the hunter right there. It exploded into a big fireball. And what else? All there's left out now is a hunter and two turrets. And yeah, just a little bit of infantry left right there standing. If you got that um, rifleman and those tanks over here by that building right there, you'd burn them out. Which surprises me that you didn't turn around and burn out those infantry on your way by but all right so we go on to turn six this won't take long <laughs> all right turn six all there's left is two cards for my side all right we'll be back turn six is now complete the last vestiges of the uh, turrets are gone. This one sway back come over here and obliterated it, uh, what was left of it. It was damage on them, so they just cleaned them out, finished them off. And over here, the last remaining uh, hunter tank was taken out by these guys over here, along with the turret over here. The uh, Patton tank and the rifleman with their flamers. flamers burned out that building right there, caught it on fire. They dropped the last remaining building with infantry in it. Lost two buildings. And then this building over here finally collapsed under the weight of those guys that kicked it down. All right, so that was the end of the turn. There was some damage done to the... Uh, Remaining forces, looks like this hunchback took some major damage. And uh, took some uh, SRM and machine gun fire over here. And this hatchet man got shot up pretty good. But that was it. Uh, that's the end of turn six. Six turns in. You went from one end of the board to the other and cleaned out the city. Which is amazing. You realize that you finally figured out that Dropping the building was a lot easier than trying to kick the mm -hmm. infantry out of them. That made it a lot quicker for you. And then uh, when you figured out, oh, you got flamers, you can use those things. Like D4, D6, yeah. A lot of infantry die quickly that way. So, uh, what do you think of the game? Long. Long? Oh, that was seven hours. Well. Seven hours of play. But... 
you were facing off a lot of infantry and infantry armor. is what slowed the game down a lot. Eh, sorta. Tanks helped out too. But the tanks died quickly when you shot at them. Yeah. You turned them into pillboxes. It's like you immobilized them and then they just sat there and once they were sitting, not moving, then they yeah, got... Yeah, like this one over here just left him to his own devices till they quit. Yeah. And then the panther comes rolling up behind him and says, Hey, knocking on their back door and going, uh, You guys going to get out of that thing? <laughs> get on the loudspeaker and says, Leave your vehicle. All right. So that was a long game, but it was a lot of fun. City fights are a bloody mess. Especially when you're fist. Now imagine this game if you were facing this with the last mission you fought. Throw those guys in there. Still be playing that game. <laughs> City fights are fun. All right. It, you had a couple guys got like 70 points? Yep. The SRM carriers got 70 points. The, uh, oh, who was it? Uh, the one sway back got 50 points. 50? I don't know what he's gotten for points on his guys, but somewhere in the thirties. There's one that or two that reach maybe fifty now. Fifty points. And that's some skill ups for a couple guys. Alright. We'll be back again. Hope you enjoy this one.